All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Sounds good to me. All right. Now, it has to be done quietly with no fuss. Maybe leave him out of town. All right. I'm going to stop you there. We're not amateurs, you know. And what? Buy him dinner, Vadim? Have the two of you utterly lost hold of your senses? I can't believe what I'm hearing. We'll call the shots. You just give us the rest of your intel. I think he's talking about murder. Look, Ivan, I think we know what we're doing. Are you quite serious? So you can't possibly be considering this. Over a mere radio broadcast? Just make sure they compensate you. Supplies are expensive. You're not seriously thinking about going along with this. Sneaky killing bad. This bad reason to kill other human. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. If this is a joke, you're one sick puppy, Vadim. Vadim, this isn't funny. And... No sneaky killing. Humans should not kill humans that way. I guess that'll be one way to handle it. It would be quick and probably mostly painless. You just first leave him out of town. Sounds easier than getting up and changing stations. Who has time for that? That you're even considering it is bad enough. I can't believe you're even considering this. You cannot be suggesting murder? Do you know what's also quick and painless? Not listening to this man's station! We're still talking about a radio DJ who annoys you, right? That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. Wait for it. Have you completely gone off your rocker? Honestly, Vadim, what the hell has gotten into you? What a criminal suggestion, monsieur. What happened to merely speaking to the man? Why, I imagined your presence alone would properly motivate him to improve. He's right. Outside the city is best. No need to attract unwanted attention. I have another idea. Just turn off your radio. Human do right thing. Sneaky killing is bad. All right. That's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. I can believe it. I bet that's true. As a last resort, no doubt. Always in self-defense, I'm sure. Judging from what I've seen so far, I don't doubt it. And this is a good thing. Funny. I could say the same thing. I'm afraid I'm uncertain of what you're getting at. A fight? 
Strong likes fights. I'm not some thug. I don't get involved in stuff like that. Works for me. As much as it may surprise you, not everyone who walks into your establishment is some kind of goon, Vadim. Real quick way to make a lot of enemies. Of course you're not. You're a soldier. Some of us are civilized, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but that was funny. Yes, there are other ways of instilling confidence that don't involve violence. No fight! Human coward. Human weak. I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. He's telling you the truth. They're quite the scrapper, this one. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Hold your own? What? It's true. I've seen it with me own eyes. Hold on. Hold on what? Strong confused. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, out with it, Vadim. You planning to concuss Travis to confidence? Always talking. Always boring. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no, it is not. I don't, I have no idea. What I did to deserve this! I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No! I mean, no! That would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Then you need to make it stop. No buts, Travis. Now's the time to act. Bah, this human weak. Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. You need to grow a pair, buddy. Change is tough. It's best to just jump. Come on, Travis. You don't want to live like that. You have to seize the moment. Take charge, monsieur. Come on. I've seen mole rats with bigger balls. Just dealing with something is no way to live. Not when we're offering to help you. Then human fights. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. You could have fooled me. Then prove it. Because cowards don't stand up for themselves. That's it. Let out the beast. Pull yourself together. You must stand up for yourself. Then quit acting like such a loser. Exactly. Now let's see you prove it! I think he actually believes himself. You always have a way with people. Not coward. Then fight. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Of course it will. Stop whining already. Sure, pal. It'll all work out. You got spunk, kid. That's all that matters. We're right behind you. Don't look at me. This wasn't my idea. You will be fine. You'll see. Just shut up and go along with the plan. Chin up, Travis. We'll be at your side every step of the way. For the record, I still like the original suggestion. It'll work. Trust us. Don't think. Fight. You say something. I said, I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. 
Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll... I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it! How do you feel now? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Maybe. Why don't you go ask him? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back, said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay, and then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yefim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... That's not a funny joke. Like, at all. Ugh. You think this is a joke. Well, it's not. I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh, oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. What does it matter whose fault it was? I guess... Maybe it doesn't matter. But getting him back does. You really think you got that in you? You're right, but... You really think you're up for this? Take a moment to collect yourself, and then tell us how we can help. That's right, and we need your help. Fight, not fight. Which one? Yes, this is absolutely your fault. And it's on your head if something happens to Vadim. So start talking. Oh man, I can't believe this. Yeah, you screwed this one up good, Travis. Sure, that'll help his self-esteem. Believe it or not, we don't have time to just stand here. Vadim needs us, Travis. It doesn't matter who's to blame. We need to defuse this situation. This will not help, Monsieur Miles. They're probably carving him into little pieces right now. In truth, Mr. Miles, it really doesn't matter whose fault it is. What matters is helping Vadim. That should get results. Isn't it about time he knew the truth? Strong confused. How is human's fault? Look, 
The Deems had dealings with those guys before. Why they took him doesn't matter. Getting him back does. You're right. We've got to get him back. It's about freaking time he showed some backbone. You've been hiding this bravado the whole damn time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do, Travis. Where's this been hiding? Exactly. So help us defuse the situation. Well, I still say it's his fault. But whatever. And we need your help. Yes, we fight now. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Okay, fine. You win. It's your fault. Now help us fix it, dummy. You do the best with the info you got. It's okay, kid. Don't beat yourself up, kid. You saw how things turned out last time someone tried to. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Fault is irrelevant. We need to defuse this situation. They have played us all the fool. Oh, come on. They would have walked all over your sorry arse forever. Nonsense, Mr. Miles. The blame is unimportant. What matters now is finding Mr. Bobron. It's really not your fault. Fighting never wrong. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, then I'm going to help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. This isn't going to end well. You can get yourself out of a lot of scrapes just by maintaining composure. Hey, you need to listen to that. Don't think. Just act. Travis. Now's not the time to get cold feet. Vadim needs you. And we'll all walk out of this in one piece. That was excellent advice. Try and follow it to the letter. Breathe. Get plenty of oxygen into your blood. It will help. Isn't thinking too much what got you into this mess in the first place? Chin up, Mr. Miles. We'll have Vadim out of here in no time. Just focus on getting your friend out of here, okay? Humans think too much. Strong smashers! Not likely. Chances are at least one of us won't make it out of there. Oh, okay. Not, uh, not exactly the pep talk I was looking for, but, um... Don't lie to the guy. Sheesh. The truth is, we'll probably all be killed. And Santa Claus is totally a fraud. Anything else we can throw at him? What our friend here is trying to say is that we're going to be facing some real danger. Don't listen to him. We're all walking out of here today. Look, don't let Blue scare you. Just stay alert and you'll stay alive. You'll be fine. Just find the strength you need within yourself. Oh, dear. Guess what? Welcome to real life. Chin up, Mr. Miles. I have complete faith in you. Besides, Vadim is counting on us, so we dare not fail. Do you think he wants to guess which one of us you're referring to? I don't think that helped. <laughs> Strong kill many before dying. You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Well, I guess a little intel's better than none. Good. We'll mop him up and have Vadim home in no time. Good. We get the drop on him. This should be a piece of cake. Strong kill them all. Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, 
I can do this. Totally. We're gonna regret bringing this guy, aren't we? This is gonna be good. Don't worry. We got your back, killer. Hey, you can do this. That's a good attitude. Because in a minute, you're gonna have to. Take a deep breath and concentrate. You can do this. Together, we will triumph. He's gonna piss his pants when the bullets start flying. Can we all agree on that? I've complete faith in you, Mr. Miles. He's probably going to be killed. You could at least be honest with him about that. Just remember, we're here to help your friend. Focus on that, and you'll be fine. Time to fight. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no, this was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and chems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. I don't know how you pulled that off, buddy. Not bad. You've come real far, pal. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. Your contributions were... acceptable. Your accomplishments are most impressive. In my opinion, it's a miracle you're alive. Couldn't have done it better myself. I still don't know how he's alive. You should be proud of yourself, Travis. Human weak fighter, but brave. I hope so. I'm tired of your shitty, whiny attitude. Yeah, yeah. I know. If you know, then do something about it. Act like a man, for God's sake. You're not pulling punches. Don't listen to that, Travis. You've come a long way. Yeah, folks with bad attitudes can get real tired. That was rather... harsh. But he... <sighs> fine. Yeah. You're not cut out for this. Stick to the airwaves. Really, sir? You and I both. Don't listen to that. You're not that person anymore. Attitude not important. Winning fight important. This is all just another day for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Not me, though. You can bet it's a new day for you now. But you still came out on top. You should be real proud. Even so, you did good, Travis. You should be proud of yourself. <clears throat> After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. <laughs>